What's up everyone? How are we doing today? It's a little bit later, but as promised, I am going to make these videos. And so I don't have my coffee with me because I already drank it today, but we'll still chat anyway. I know it's been a couple of days, so I apologize. But again, doing my best to get these out um, as thoughts come up. Because sometimes in the morning, I have other tasks to do and then make a video. But I do have some notes I keep down on a, whether it's my phone or a piece of paper sometimes about um, things I want to talk about. And today I want to talk about the idea of uh, good enough or uh, threshold based metrics. So things that are like, oh, okay, uh, check that box or things that are never good enough. So good enough versus never good enough metrics. And one of those things that are never good enough, we'll just get down to the, the one you're probably curious about, are things like the amount of force you can produce in your sport-specific movement, assuming that your sport-specific movement requires maximum amounts of force. Makes sense, right? If force accumulated over time, which is impulse, so force, average force technically, times the time, acting on the mass that is your body's mass in a direction applied, is gonna dictate how fast you run, how high you jump. So if our goal is to jump super high and dunk a basketball, there, I guess there isn't a too high, you'll want to jump as high as you possibly can, and more, I guess, is almost always better, assuming our goal is jump height. So there is no amount of force that is enough force. We always want to produce more, and right? no one's going to be like, oh, I ran the 100 meter dash, and I ran fast enough. I don't want to run any faster. No faster is okay with me. Right? We always want to have uh, higher outputs there. So that's a maximum, right? That's that's a quality we want more of. Now, we're not going to dive into how to build that specific quality, but in context, more of the right application, and I guess I shouldn't say that, more of maximal force in the right application is the rest I put it, because you can't really have more right application. You always have, uh, there's probably a right amount, the direction that's being applied is a correct amount. There's not like a more correct amount. There is a, uh, an optimum to that. Um, but there is never like an optimum amount of force you could produce. I guess everyone kind of wants to run faster. Then there's other things that are, well, kind of threshold based. And maybe that's something like your aerobic conditioning for a specific sport. Like maybe for weightlifting, there is a amount of aerobic conditioning that is necessary. But on the other hand, maximum isn't needed, right? There's no need for maximum because it's not like the aerobic capacity you have is limiting your ability to do that performance, which is weightlifting. And obviously that varies per sport. Another one might be something like mobility. You don't want infinite amounts of mobility. There is a certain point in time where more mobility is not necessarily better. There is probably a good enough ratio for mobility when it's not a limitation in, in the way of your training. Maintenance of that mobility is obviously probably important, but the further development of that mobility might not be necessary. So when we look at performance, there's probably things that are we want maximums of, and then there are things that we just want good enough of. And the hard thing is at times is we can get focused on, well, that good enough thing, we're just keeping and trying to make a maximum. And that maximum thing, we just keep, letting it be good enough, right? Now I say that because sometimes the shift maybe can focus to one area, aerobic, mobility, strength, power, but not all of those should be appraised and assessed through the same lens. It's not always about maximums. It's not always about the most possible. It's not the case. Some things are, right? The, the most amount of force you can produce is a good thing in context to your sport. If we're talking about like how you want to become the world's greatest triple jumper or long jumper, you're not going to be like, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to jump any further because jump distance or jump height is dictated by the relative amount of impulse or force accumulated in the correct direction. So you're not going to be like, oh, well, I don't want any more force. Probably not going to be the case. I don't understand why that would ever be the case when force is the direct cause of velocity and movement and velocity dictates how far we go. It's physics. I believe it's Newton's second law. I don't actually remember Newton's laws at all. It's the number, but I think it's the second one. Maybe. Uh, I think so. But whatever, beside the point. So there are things that we want maximum of, and there's things we just want good enough of, right? 
It's not like the high jumper has to have extreme mobility. Well, maybe the high jumper has some certain aspects that are more mobile than others, but maybe not the extreme. Maybe the Olympic weightlifter only needs mobility in certain areas, or the long jumper only needs so much mobility. And it's good enough. And anything beyond that just needs to be maintained. In the same way, aerobic capacity might just be good enough. Or upper body strength in basketball. You don't want forever amounts of upper body strength in basketball. Maybe there's a good enough. And so when we assess variables and look at things, there are things that might be good enough. And those should not be looked at through the same lens as those that we want maximal of. And that's really important because that changes how you assess, test, um, not necessarily what you do, but how you interpret it, how you interpret a program how you interpret a needs analysis. So think about that. Sometimes good enough is the best, believe it or not. Good enough is good enough. And sometimes there's never good enough. We always want more of something. So think about that, ponder it, chew on it, and evaluate what you look at. Should I do this to the, do I want to have, develop this to the nth degree, to the most? Or is this something that's good enough to be developed? Let me know what y'all think. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I appreciate y'all listening. Comment, share, subscribe, follow along. Thank you all as always, and I appreciate y'all and take care.